It can be hard to explain how it feels to be a kid and go to the library and be thrilled at the sight of thousands of books, only to discover almost none of them are about anyone who looks like you, who sounds like you, who feels like you, who knows what you know and sees the world the same as you. It can be hard to explain when you feel like you have no voice, when you feel like you have no reflection. The traditional children's book industry communicates over and over in different ways that the books that genuinely reflect black youth and give first voice to black experience and wisdom are not saleable. I say it's not about the money. It's an old system built on an old way of thinking. We need a new system built on our way of thinking, one built on respect, inclusion, about reality, and what we want to build for our children and our world's future. It's time for all of us in the Kidlit community to come forward and say, it's not about the money, it's about time. By any means necessary, we want our black youth to know they belong. They are valuable. We need first voice children's books rooted in the black community so our black youth can grow into themselves through the power of their own community. We need first voice children's books so our other children can see and learn and know true black experience and the strength and beauty of the black community. We also need inclusive children's books so that all children can see and learn that we belong together, united and strong in our differences. So that when our black youth grow into young adults, they are not unconsciously or consciously profiled and unarmed, innocently gunned down by police. Children's books are one of the first places we come into contact with what our culture has to teach us. It begins as soon as a child holds a book. Our challenge as authors, artists, editors, publishers, educators, and activists is to model equality in those books, real equality that includes the whole of an individual and the complexities of a community. It means looking at things differently asking different questions, embracing different priorities. We can turn the tide. We can change the world if we can commit to kidlit equality. The time is always now.